What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Player Builder video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the best Anthony Mason builds. Now, Mason unfortunately passed before all-time teams were announced, and he hasn't been seen in a 2K game since 2K15 with the 94 Knicks. However, Mace was a really underrated player. He was a bruiser at 6'7", who was undersized for the power forward position, but you wouldn't have known that due to his 250 pound frame. Playing for the Knicks, Mason was effectively a two-way point forward that had the size of LeBron, but not the agility or above the rim of athleticism. But he did have the defensive prowess and versatility, able to guard two to five effectively, and with that continual chip on his shoulder, made it a physical knife for whoever he was guarding. He came off the bench mainly for the Knicks and was named Sixth Man of the Year in 1995. He was traded to the Hornets for Larry Johnson and was named to his first and only All-NBA team and All-Defensive team. Then in the 2000-2001 season, while he was with the Heat, he was named to his only All-Star appearance, replacing his injured teammate Alonzo Mourning and Grant Hill, who was another prototype for LeBron. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is going to be power forward, hand in this doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose 14 because that's the number that he wore his entire career. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the yellow and red half and half pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the strength and vert physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to the max, 84. Bring your driving layup up to a 72. Bring your driving dunk up to a 72. Bring your standing dunk up to a 56. And bring your post hook up to a 48. And that's going to give you nine finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to bring your mid-range shot up to the max. Bring your free throw up to a 73 and max out your post fade. And that's gonna give you five shooting badges. For playmaking, you're gonna bring your pass accuracy up to a 73. Bring your ball handling up to the max. And bring your post moves up to a 69. And that's gonna give you 16 playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're gonna max out your interior defense, max out your perimeter defense, bring your lateral quickness up to a 54, bring your Offensive rebounding up to an 81. And you're going to spend the rest on defensive rebounding. And that's going to give you 14 defense and rebounding badges. So 9 finishing, 5 shooting, 16 playmaking, and 14 defense and rebounding badges is a total of 44 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with define. Height is going to be 6'7. Weight is going to be 270 pounds. I know that he actually weighed 250, but I wanted to bring up his interior defense a little bit. So that's why we're going with 270 pounds. And for the wingspan, you're going to go one above the default. So with 99 overall, you have a close shot of 89, a 76 driving layup, an 80 driving dunk, a 60 standing dunk. And for your shooting stats, you'll have a 74 mid-range shot, an 80 free throw, and a 72 post fade. For your playmaking, you'll have an 84 pass accuracy, an 81 ball handle, so you will get all the pro dribble moves, and uh, you'll have a 74 post moves as well. And for your defense and rebounding, you'll have a 76 interior defense, an 86 perimeter defense, a 68 lateral quickness, a 74 offensive rebound, and a 79 defensive rebound. Your physical is at 99 overall with the gym rat badge, you'll be 87 for speed, 85 for acceleration, 70 for vert, and 98 for strength. For the takeover, you could really go with either the Playmaker takeover or the Glass Cleaner takeover. I'm just going to go with the Glass Cleaner takeover though. And the build is complete and you have built a Playmaking 4, Shades of Jason Tatum, Larry Johnson, and Blake Griffin. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're going to put Consistent Finisher on Bronze, Contact Finisher on Gold, Pick and Roller on Bronze, Pro Touch on Bronze, Put Back Boss on Bronze and a relentless finisher on silver. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put catch and shoot on silver, hot zone hunter on bronze, pick and popper on silver. And for your playmaking badges, you're gonna put break starter on silver, dimer on silver, downhill on silver, flashy passer on silver, needle threader on silver, live city passer on bronze, post pin technician on gold, and unpluckable on silver. Lastly, for those defense and rebounding badges, you're gonna put box on silver, brick wall on silver, intimidator on silver, clamps on silver, moving truck on silver, rebound chaser on silver, and pig dodger on silver. 
All right, everyone, this has been the best Anthony Mason build. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall. And you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel, so you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests. So if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for current gen and when next gen comes out, I'll be making builds for next gen as well. So that's why you want to be subscribed so you don't miss a thing. Last but not least, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.